What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to try something fun in the Endless Cloister. I tried many things with different teams and I found one that might be really interesting. This is the one. You have Indra and you have Dianmu inside of it, but don't worry because you can replace them by two other units if, if you don't have them. Of course you are going to have a bit less damage and so you probably won't be able to deal with high difficulty stages, but still it might be really interesting and I hope that you are gonna enjoy it because this is pretty fun. In fact this is an infinite turn team so that means if I can reduce the speed of the boss I'm gonna reduce his turn meta by a lot, increase my own turn meta by a lot and then the boss is gonna take a lot of damage without and he's gonna die in fact without even taking a turn. So we are gonna try that just in a moment. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna run that in auto and you are gonna understand how does it work. So, first of all, space plays first. You need high speed on your heroes. So you play right before the boss and if you can put the speed down 40% with space on the boss, then it's gonna work. But here it failed, so I'm gonna lose. You need the speed down 40% on the boss, otherwise it will never work. One shot. Just have to retry. This is the difficulty 37 though. It's gonna take forever to beat it, but it's working and it's pretty fun. It can work against different bosses in the in the cloister. So let's just retry until the speed down works. By the way, the boss has 148% effect, effect resistance and my space is lacking a bit of effect hit and this is why it's not always working. But it's still interesting. And really fun to see. Come on, speed down. Okay, it worked. Now just have to wait almost eight minutes, something like that. The boss won't take any turn. And he is just gonna die. Look at all the turn meta increase on my guys and the turn meta reduction on the boss. I have speed 40% on my heroes, speed less f minus 40% on the boss, huge turn meta increase, huge turn meta reduction. Hey Tunak, no this is not the elemental city. This is the endless cloister. But this is the boss that is coming from the elemental city at the base so... Just have a look to that. The damage are pretty high. And he is never playing. He is never playing. And I'm pretty sure that you can replicate that in the Elemental City if you want. Or against other bosses if you manage to clear waves. Because I also tried that in Marius. But you are taking too much damage in Marius because you have some poisons on the first wave because of Taff. And so your heroes die so it's not working. In other dungeons, uh, you have to manual things, otherwise you can't control all enemies and in auto they are killing you. But in manual it's pretty, it's pretty nice to see. Bosses can't play. And normally that one has a lot of speed. Yeah, with the speed reduction 40% he has 1275, so he has something around... Maybe 2,400, something like that. And he has no turn meta at all. Zero. He will never play and he will just die. So I'm just waiting a bit and then I'm gonna pull some shards for me. And for one viewer, someone else asked me, but he never replied after. So if you, if someone wants me to open his wishes during the live, just contact me on Discord. It would be a pleasure. Is it hard for you to kill that boss? 
so uh, I, I might show you some strats, try to do some things. But I'm just showing that and then I'm gonna open some shots and after that, if you are still here, I'm gonna show you some... Some simple tips, in fact, to beat that boss. So I think that I'm, I might leave the fight because otherwise it's gonna take forever. Normally it takes 8 minutes, something like that, and that, then the boss is dying right below 300 turns. But look at the HP of the boss. This is the difficulty 37. He has 10 billion HP. This is so much. I'm sorry, dude. I have no code anymore for now. Maybe next week I'm gonna have another one, but I'm not sure about that. I'm still waiting for some news about up to it. As soon as I have a code, I'm gonna post it on my channel so everybody will be aware. 150 turns, half HP, so maybe it, it won't work. So I just need a bit more defense on my Indra, so he's gonna deal a bit more damage. But this is the difficulty 37 though. And using that strategy, of course it's taking a lot of time, but I am able to farm some stages here. One, two or three bosses, and then I just reset like this. And I retry, and I have 1.9% chance to obtain a mythic blessing. I'm able to do that today, and there is something really, really, really annoying. I was able to do that when the Endless Cloister was first released. Because we could buy 150 buffs in, at the maximum, and the buffs were way stronger than today. Today I have 131 and with the teams I was using before, I'm not even able to clear the stage 30, 31. I'm struggling so much and if you have a look, all the players in the rankings, this is the players who tried hard the content when it was first released. And so we are able to farm the stage 37, 36, etc. and get more chance to get some blessings where others or stuck somewhere here because now the difficulty is way higher than before and I really do hope that they increase the buffs again because they are they nerfed them they nerfed them even if you buy a lot as you can see I have all the buffs here and I, I took everything to increase my damage and with my little jack I just can't beat stages and the last boss Ifrit is just a joke he is one shotting everyone and I think apparently there is a bug with one of the bosses the one that counter attacks and looks like Grandi he one shots your heroes Th this is just a joke and so I feel sad for the other players because today some are able to farm higher than others it's taking a lot of time because if you are you are going to need to manual things but still, you have a bit more drop rate. <laughs> Even if it's still nothing, because 1% or 2%, it's not going to change many things at the end of the day. But still interesting. So, I'm going to start opening some shards for me. I don't have a lot, but I, I have someone else that wants me to open shards for him. So, I'm going to try that. Uh, I don't want Pauline because mine is already E5. So... For once, I don't want the limited hero inside of the banner, and when I pull in limited heroes banners, I never get, almost never, the limited hero inside. So I really do hope that that time I won't pull many copies of him, otherwise I'm gonna be disgusted, and I probably many viewers are gonna be. Uh, salut Mesmer, il vaut mieux démarrer avec Nicolas. Nicolas is way better than Pauline to start the game. You are gonna use Nicolas absolutely everywhere. So way better, way better. Nicolas, vraiment, le meilleur starter du jeu. So, I'm gonna pull some... 10 pulls. And I would love to get another copy of Elena to get the SQZ3. It's gonna help me to farm the Faction Abyss and to... Uh, reinforce the aura of my Nordak. So he's gonna have more HP and... And I'm going to be more tanky for PvP also. That's important. Avec plaisir. Early one. Oh, that's Nilua. And this is a great pool. This is a great pool. She's going to have a bit more stats and speed. This is great. 
Awesome pull outside of the banner. I'm super, super happy. And I cut the PD, so... Seems like I'm gonna have some luck today. But I still need Elena. I want her. Hey, I'm finding you, Anthony. I'm killing it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, let's go. Can I cut another another time? 54 shards. Just for the video. Just for the live. Make me cut. To get another Lego. By the way, I still need one copy of Iguli to try her with Daisy in PvP to get the crit damage buff. I can't get any copy of her. I get all the other epic units, but not her. Cool. Two Pauline? Two Pauline in a row, you mean? That's great. Congratulations. So only four shots remaining, and then I'm gonna pull... My legendary shards. Thirty-three more before the PD. Seems like I'm not gonna get any other Lego on that. Or who knows? For the show, I'm gonna try to get some more in the Rizal store. Never do that at home. Save your gems. <laughs> really, really important to save your gems. Never do that for excellent wishes. This is only for the show. Okay, so now I'm sure to to hit the PD. Two hundred invoke two Paulin. Excellent, bravo. GG two hundred and fifty epic summons two Paulins. Awesome, Mesmer. So, next legendary hero. Okay, hard pity. <laughs> Who is it gonna be? Okay, that's a bull exclusive four. He's gonna have a bit more stats. That's interesting. I take that. So, let's do some 10 pulls on Supreme Wishes. Eleven before the PD, so I'm not guaranteed to get a Lego inside. You ended with E4 Pauline and you wanted only Guhana? <laughs> That's pretty lucky then. Congrats. So my time to get Tifia. I would like Tifia and Elena. And I got a Serena. Yes. That's the best hero in the game. I love that. I love that. I think n nobody's using her today, even new players, I'm pretty sure that they are not using her. Even if they know nothing about the game, I'm pretty sure that they feel she is bad. Poised posture, good for Makin. Uh, I don't understand, what do you mean by poised? Okay, so I have five more to go. C'est une bonne question, Mesmer. Regarde mes premières vidéos et c'est vrai qu'au début, je parlais très mal, mais à force de m'entraîner, c'est arrivé. C'est con, mais juste à force de, de parler anglais sur les vidéos. He was asking me, how did I learn speaking English that way? Because if you have a look to my first videos I made in English on Infinite Magic Raid, this is so, 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 so freaking bad. You can hear a huge difference between. So in fact, I just practiced a lot. And today I have a bit better accent. And by hearing others on YouTube also it helps a lot. Last shard. Okay, I didn't cut on the Supreme Wishes, so the summons are gonna end on, on my own account. The Echo, the Poised Echo. Uh, what is that? 
I don't I don't know the name of Echoes. You have a hero on the Echo. So maybe if you remember the hero on the Echo, can you tell that to me? So I will know what Echo you are talking about. Arista Eternal Death. In Tower of Mark. Um... I'm gonna show you that right after my summons. I, I need to summon for another one, for another guy, and then I'm gonna show that to you. In fact, you just have to put that debuff on the target and to kill the target while he has the debuff. This is important, otherwise he will be still able to revive. C'est ça, mais merci. Uh, Yoko, okay, the echo of Yoko. Uh, I, I'm not using any echo of Yoko. In my opinion, this is the bad one, and I don't even know if I have one copy left. Because usually I'm, yeah, that one. More crit damage, and if the owner cast active skill but fails to deal damage, grants them some and removes, oh yeah, that's increasing your attack if you fail to deal damage in your turn. For example, if you are using Yoko, she has a turn uh, to uh, buff herself, uh, to change the posture, and then uh, she's gonna get an extra turn, and so she's gonna get more damage. You can use that on Brynhild also. It's working because when she changed her form, uh, she's gonna get an extra turn, and s but this is gonna increase her attack, so maybe it's not a good, a uh, good idea to use that on her. Uh, Dark proxy. Sometimes it's a bit tweaky. I I tried that against the boss in the Elemental City. I think this is a Rumil, who can revive the Drakes, the dogs, and the other. But it was sometimes it was working, and sometimes not. I think I have a video on that. One of my last video I made on on the Elemental City also. I'm using Rista and I block their revival. A damage dealer good with Nordak, Guhana and Catherine and Catherine for what content? It depends. Generally you have some top damage dealers. Uh, early game you have Nidral who is great, if you don't have Little Jack, yeah, you have Nidral, you have Nita, you need to push for Nita, she is a great hero in all the dungeons, she is really really amazing for that content. Then you have a Nidral, great for Rom because the boss is taking more bleed damage. You have Lysander who is a great hero for dungeons. And then you have other units that can be interesting such as Moloch. Uh, for Rom too, because he's taking more burn damage. Andras not that great because he needs a burn team to increase his damage. And that can help. For campaign, yeah. If you need to clear the campaign, just use Makin. You don't need other heroes to clear the campaign. You don't need other damage dealers, I mean. So, I'm just gonna uh, log off and come back on another account. So wait a second. Just need to log in on another account. And I'm coming back. Okay, just need the password. Okay, is it gonna work? Yeah, that's it. And what server? That one? 72? Okay, back to it. So I'm just going to send him a message so he will know that I'm going to start pulling for him. I'm about to pull for you, just logged in. Okay, so let's just have a look to the account before. 
So what do you have? You have a Nordak exclusive three, Nita exclusive three, Nicholas exclusive two. <laughs> I never heard the song before. <laughs> Hell 13 and 14 chapters. Yeah, it's a bit harder to beat. So yeah, of course, Nita is going to help you a lot. So great mythic heroes. Nicholas exclusive 2. That's pretty sad that you don't have the exclusive 3. Then you have an NG3. So in terms of limited units, pretty interesting. It's an earlier count, I guess. Yeah, Makin is built. Okay, of course. Great Sigmund for the Faction Abyss with Catherine. This is great to get more stars. Chardonnay and Nidroll. This is a great combo. This is a great combo for the Weathering Coast, especially early game to get more points. And with Grace, so great bleeders. And I guess that you have no Pauline. Great in the future. Already a Geta, great. You have a bull already, one copy. Lysander, so great bleeders. Another Lysander, two other Lysanders. Effectively, great bleeders on that account. And then some trash units. Okay, so no single copy of Pauline. He told me that he wanted at least one copy of Pauline. And he has a lot of summons normally. So let's try to see. He has a lot. And I'm going to start... Stop after the first copy of Pauline obtained. So finger crossed for him. Hope I'm gonna get lucky and get the copy of Pauline really, really early. Let's go. Eighty-one before the first PD. Come on, this is not my account. Let's just cut many times. F 17 Legos, 1 Pauline? Dude, this is so freaking bad. I feel bad for you, dude. So you might be close to get another Pauline, right? Okay, Lily, but she is a useless unit. I'm not using her. I never used her outside of the fair arena. 11 more. Okay. A new one. And that's Guhana. And that's gonna help him a lot. She is great for the Sunset Sages. One of the mandatory unit for that content. Okay, let's cut some. Get more Legos. More exclusives. Pauline. Ninety four to go. Seventy four more. Hey, Ronak, I'm fine, and you? And you have also some love from fr friends. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, Joel. And if I remember correctly, it happened to me on NG3. And I was pulling also Nicholas for another viewer on last banner. And I got only one. Okay, second legendary hero. And that's a Dario. Uh -uh. A bad hero. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There are so many great heroes outside, outside of the banner. Oh no, that's definitely not Pauline. I never used that guy. 
They wanted to release one hero with an handicap and they released Dario. He can't crit and his damage are really really trash so this is one of the worst hero in the game. But at the, at the release of the game he was interesting though but today <laughs> he can't do a shit in any content. Bull is great. You can use Bull in PvP if you want, or the Faction Abyss, or even in Dungeon. Uh, against Growlen or Ifrit, they are taking more direct damage, and so Bull is one of the best units to play in this kind of content. And in PvP, he rocks. You need high damage on him, and he can one-shot enemies, even if they have Nicolas Exclusive 3. Because he does multiple stages of damage. Come on, just cut one time, almost, the pity, only one time, and got a Pauline, an early Pauline so he can save some summons. Yeah, I think that many players are wasting a lot of shards to try to summon Paulin and other limited heroes on normal banners. 34. We are gonna hit another PT. Come on. Be nice and be Paulin. Maybe here. Come on, come on, Paulin. New one. And that's a Mutu, so seriously. After Dario, then you have a Mutu. It can't be worst. <laughs> really, it can't be worst. You have to give me another back to back. So the next one is guaranteed to be inside of the banner. So maybe it's gonna be a Paulin. It doesn't want to cut. It doesn't want to cut. Come on. I had some luck before, right before on my account. Got Nidua, a great hero outside. And here you are telling me that I can't get at least one good unit. Come on. Yeah, really, one Pauline would be great. He has so many shards. Come on. Hundred percent sure that the next one is Pauline. I feel it. Pauline is coming. This is the next one. A hero in the banner, come on. Another PT to get. Another Guhana! At least that's not bad. Exclusive one is interesting. <laughs> but this is still not Pauline. With all the wishes. Please cut at least one time. <laughs> I should have summoned on that account directly. And so maybe I could have cut here and not on my account. I feel so bad right now. Oh, please. It's going all the way to the PD again. Come on. Uh, I think it was 800 shards. That's a lot. And I'm not sure, but I think he is free to play. Because he has a high level account. Okay. A new one. Come on, this is Pauline. 
Of course it is Paulin. Finally, finally. That's great. I'm going to send him a picture. Cool. So he still have a lot of wishes. This is amazing. This is what we wanted. And he has a lot of rewards inside of it. Congratulations, dude. You have your Pauline. I'm gonna send him the shards remaining. Cool. Five Pauline, let's go. <laughs> I would like to. But he wanted to save his uh, remaining shards. I'm not gonna try to convince him. Otherwise, maybe he's gonna waste the remaining shards. Mo, oh, let's go, bro. No, this is not my account. If it was mine, of course I would like to. He tells me to have a look to the Tower of Mark, to the blue one, because now he has Iwan Guhana and it's gonna rock hard inside. Guhana, yeah, of course, that's gonna be great. Huge damage with Nita, big shield and heals, more heals, uh, turn meta increase, attack increase, and maybe you can try to put, if you want a bit more damage, to put her in the team. And also, uh, maybe I would like to use that also. Uh, just increase a bit her uh, awakening level so she's gonna be able to survive and put the speed down in AoE and probably with that you will have enough power to deal with the entire tower. That's great, that's great. Congrats bro. So I'm going back on my account. I'm gonna come back on my account. Or maybe if someone in the chat wants me to summon for him, <laughs> of course I'm gonna do that. But I don't think that there are many players at, at the moment on the stream. 41. Oh, that's a lot of players though. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. That's so great to have you today. Yeah, I feel the pressure. I feel the pressure. I feel it every day. I have so much pressure on my own account. When I'm trying to give people some tips, I'm always thinking before, is it going to be useful or is it just sh some shit content? Should I produce the video? Should I let the video just on my computer not publish it? Every time I'm spending huge amount of time just to try to find things interesting. At least if it's not useful <laughs> for players, I hope it's at least fun to watch. So I'm going to switch again the account, go back on my own account and then look at that he's gonna have even more rewards but I'm gonna let him collect all the rewards he's gonna be able to push a bit more in the faction abyss sunset sages look at that 562 stars this is great for the account this is great congratulations so switch to my account Uh, so switch account. I am currently on server number two. Okay, so go back login on my own account. Server two. Oh, and you know what? I just reached. Look. I just reached the the 100 today, the level 100 today. And so a new pack popped out on my account. That one, $100, 12 yellow shards, 120 miracle. So if I had some sh <laughs> vouchers remaining, I would have bought it to prepare for the next week. But sadly, I won't get them until the next month. So I'm gonna lack some shards to get the new limited hero. But today, they go so much pay to win that, look at that, 
last time a new limited hero was released, I I was able to get only two exclusives on them, on her. And then they are releasing packs and packs and packs, uh, one, two weeks, three weeks after the event, and etc. So even if you, you are not lucky enough to pull the heroes, if you have a bit of budget, you can buy them after, but... Yeah, don't 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 spend too much on the game though. This is just a game. I did that too much in the past and and now today I'm just enjoying it without spending anything. Of course, I have some vouchers so it helps but spending in the game you have a lot of pressure then and it, you are losing fun. You are losing some fun. So, what can we do now? What can we do now? Uh, someone asked me in the Elemental City if I was able, to, if I could show the hard stage five. Is it that one? What is? Uh, are you you are asking me if I am playing on PC or mobile? I'm playing on both. I'm playing on both. Generally, I'm working at home, so when I'm at home, I am on the screen, and so I have the, the game running in background. It's smoother, so I prefer doing that. No? Or you are asking if I am playing another game? So, what is FC? So, that bus is really, really annoying. Because of the... Um, you have to be careful when you are using your skills and if i do remember yeah but this is this is a bit hard to beat that boss without limited heroes what do you have oh no i don't like fifa i don't like football so i never play i never play this kind of game Football or soccer, I don't know how you say that. Yeah, so here, generally, you want your Nordak, of course, so you can protect your guys. Uh, really important to have a Nordak. So I if you don't have your cooldowns on your heroes, when the boss uses the ultimate, then you can protect your heroes with the damage immunity, and so you can survive. This is important. But then you need other heroes to kill the wave. So generally, I'm also using Nita. And you have NG3. Oh, you have Lydia and Santa Jack with exclusives. I don't remember exactly, but I think I was able to, to kill the boss using that. Mamok also, so I reduce the attack, I increase my speed, and I can tank the waves. I don't remember, I made a video on that. No, you don't have exclusives on them? That's a bit sad. That's a bit sad. Or maybe I should have a look. Yeah, if you have a look here, maybe you can find some... Some team. Of course, Dianmu and Indra, do you have them? If you have them, you can bypass the content. I wonder how much damage I can do with them, by the way. Just for the fun, I'm letting you answer to me what heroes do you have and how many exclusives do you have on them. Oh, okay, you only have Indra. You only have Indra, so that team it won't work for you. That team won't work for you. I'm gonna try that just for the fun, and after that, I'm gonna try to answer to you. Hey, Kais, what's up? Uh, so, just put a Nordak inside. We are gonna try something not broken, though. I'm not gonna try to use a Lydia inside. No limited hero with Indra and Dianmu. Uh, HAL 9000 can help to tank. But I'm not sure if he's gonna help that much, though. Uh, Mamuk, maybe. He can help on waves. And maybe another hero to reduce the cooldowns on my guys, so Marvel can be interesting maybe, and she can also reduce my cooldowns, so maybe it's gonna help. 
I'm curious to see if I can just one shot the boss using Indra. So I'm gonna apply that just in case. Consolidation. Take the taunt. And uh, which one am I gonna kill? Um, I don't remember their effects here. I think the Drake. Uh, the, the Scorpio can pursue your, your heroes. No, you can't freeze them. You can't put a speed down on them. But I don't remember if they are removing your buffs or not. Cooldown reduction. Okay, now I just have to keep my cooldowns. Uh, broken units. Hopefully they are not limited heroes. And so today we can try to do something without limited heroes in the game. And this is great. You have Makin as an epic hero to start the game. And then if you can acquire both of them, this is gonna be so great. Of course you can get Nordak for free. And this is probably the one you want to have first. And if you have that to start the game with, then the game is going to be so much easier. What are we going to do? I think all, with only one shield, I can tank that. Consolidation 2. I'm going to take the aggro. And the only one who wasn't stunned is dead. Okay, perfect. Cooldown reduction. Oh, she is so great for that. I think, if I remember correctly, she needs only the first exclusive in order to apply the cooldown reduction. Yeah, that's the consolidation on the level 3 exclusive. That's another great hero. That is not played today because of Lydia. Lydia is way better. You need two exclusives on her. And then she rocks so hard. Okay, let's put some more thunders. Okay, I have the damage immunity. So the boss can't use the ultimate at the beginning. Just gonna use some basic attack to protect my heroes. Of course I will do that. The taunt. Transform. Basic attack. 9% with only 2 thunders. That's interesting. So sadly I have only 3. I'm gonna keep my ultimates. Get some cooldowns back. Use that skill. Put more thunders. Six thunders on the boss. I want to try to one shot him though. <laughs> Only the boss remaining. That was fast. They are so broken. Now I have the damage immunity, so I can use whatever skill I want. So when he releases his ultimate, you need to have some skills. If you use a basic attack, he is going to just destroy your heroes. The boss has a moustache and two guns on his back in the elemental city. I didn't know. I didn't pay attention to that. Or is it an expression to say that he is a bit broken? Hi everyone! What's up? I'm just trying broken stuff. To have a bit of fun in the elemental city. <laughs> okay, I think you can say bye bye to the boss. And before, even with some limited heroes, I remember that I was struggling to beat that content. Okay, let's just increase my turn meta. And now Indra's turn, 82% HP remaining on the boss. 
Are we gonna say bye bye? <laughs> Only that? Oh, come on. I was expecting better. I feel bad now. How much HP? 584 million. Thought? Really thought I could one shot him. So that means I have to increase the damage of my Indra. In the future, I will one shot him. And who knows, maybe in one, two, three months, they are gonna add something else. Now we have the Echoes, we have the Auras, we have the Blessings, and maybe we are gonna have something else in the future. I don't know, more exclusives? Exclusive six on heroes. Imagine, imagine, people who used all heroes in the, in the Incarnate Sanctuary, imagine if tomorrow they add the sixth exclusive on them. I think if they do that, this is gonna be the end of the game. They, they will always find a way to make heroes more broken than before, especially for spenders. Yeah, he counters, he counters attack me. And he puts some debuffs on your heroes. And then you take more damage. For example, if I use a basic attack, the heroes with that icon on them are gonna take more damage. For example, I'm gonna try that with Nordak and you are gonna see they are taking more and more damage over time. Look, I'm gonna take a bit more and a bit more. But now he's dead. So this is how you beat the boss when you have a broken account, without limited heroes. <laughs> I don't remember, uh, serious, to be more, more serious, I don't remember the heroes I used to beat that boss for the first time. But I'm, I think if I remember correctly, I made a video on that boss, but I don't remember if I used limited heroes or not. Just, I'm, I'm gonna have a look to my channel to try to find out. To find that. So, uh, Endless Cloister. I'm gonna run some multi battles in background just to see how how does it work and how much <laughs> good <laughs> blessings I can get. Earlier in the video, I was talking about the fact that players who tried who tried hard the content at the beginning were able to reach high difficulty levels and so today we can farm higher uh, higher gear inside because we have a higher drop rate so this is a bit easier for us uh, there are some bosses that you can buy uh, that you can beat really easy for example here this is the kind of team i am using and it's working the boss can't even play one turn super super efficient so if you are struggling on another stage, maybe you can try to replicate the same. You are going to have high damage using that and high turn meta increase also. So basically, I'm just going to show that again for the people who wasn't there before. Just going to run that in auto and on that bus, you have to put the focus on the bus. I'm not sure if it's gonna work on the difficulty 36 because if I kill the minions, he's gonna heal a lot. Un Wait, no, this is not the boss with the shield, so that one is not gonna get some heals. Hey, salut, Chrysaor! Ah, pas de souci, avec plaisir. À chaque fois, j'aime bien éviter des bêtises aux gens. Mais imagine, je dis bien Imagine. Je dis pas Imagine, non I don't know. Yeah, the combo Indra Dianmu is just completely crazy. So look at that. They will never take. The boss is never gonna take a turn. And this is a really, really fun team. Only the minions are gonna take a turn, but I'm gonna kill them. 
And the boss will never summon them if I remember correctly on that fight. So it works on almost every boss in the, in the rotation of the cloister. If you don't have Dianmu and Indra, you can replace them by two other units. But you are gonna need more time to kill the boss and maybe you will lack some turn meta decrease. I'm gonna show, try to show that to you after. Yeah, that's right. Nirid is really good on that boss. On the elemental city. Atelier in French, this is workshop. <laughs> the fight is gonna take forever though. Last time I did that, I was able to beat the boss within the 300 turns, but in 8 minutes. And look at the turn meta of the boss. He has no turn meta at all. He never played. Oh, you have a new gacha called Atelier? <laughs> this is funny. And is it a good gacha? Because last time, I tried another summon dragons too. I tried that on my ch main channel, but... The, the game was fun. The game was fun. You had great heroes, some strategies, etc. The game, I really love the game, but someday the developer, not the developer, a community manager was talking with me and he said to me that he wanted me to make some content on Eternal Evolution because this is the, the same studio. And Summon Dragons 2 is exactly the same game as Eternal Evolution with different graphics. Instead of the classic units of Eternal Evolution, you have dragons. And you have the same interface, the same gameplay, exactly the same thing. Even in the description of skills on units, they forgot to change the names. So in Summon Dragons 2, in some skills, you could find the name of units of Eternal Evolution. And the, the community manager told me that the Summon Dragons 2 wasn't stable. And that they didn't have a, great, a big budget on the game. And so I decided to stop Summon Dragons too. And, and they never say that about Infinite Magic Raid though. I don't know what you think about that, but I think that Infinite Magic Raid is pretty healthy today. You have some content creators. You have many updates. Many pay to win packs, of course, you have many pay to win packs, but you have many Krakens too that are buying them, so they. I'm pretty sure that they earn a lot of money, so the game is pretty healthy, in my opinion. Um, what is it about? Do you know the PS, PS5 game at Atelier Fury, something like that? That's an old game, not a PS5 one, a PS4 if I remember correctly. You have Atelier, a Atelier Furies and Atelier Iris, an older game. Maybe this is in the same, um, the same world, but as a gacha game. Clearly, I don't know about Gacha game anymore. I spent a lot on Infinite Magic Red and today I don't want... I feel like I don't really want to spend time on another Gacha. So maybe if someday Infinite Magic Red close, probably I'm gonna jump on another Gacha game. But today, I'm still enjoying a lot the game though. I'm spending hours on that. But I'm trying to have some fun outside of Gacha games. Because there are games that doesn't cut that cost that much and on which you can have so much fun. And at the moment I'm playing Pal World. And I have so much fun on Pal World. This is an insane game. Almost done with the bus. Six minutes.
Yeah, I tried many other gacha games. There are so many good things in Infinite Magic Raid. And early on, everybody was complaining, complaining that the content was too hard and that we could not achieve them. But in fact, it's pretty nice because to, even today, I still have some uh, content that I can't clear. And so I'm always trying to optimize my heroes, even today, to get better stuff and progress in the game. And this is what I do love about the game. It's okay if I don't have today the best things, if I'm not able to get the SQD3 directly on, an S on a limited hero, because on the last one, I had only SQD2 at the beginning, but it's okay, I, you have so many heroes today, the, more, the longer you play, the better, because you acquire more stuff, and so you just have to enjoy the game at the end. You just need to accept that the game is pay to win as all gacha games. And once you accepted that, that you can't beat the top players. And I can't, I can't. There, there are so many players. I'm losing a lot in championship, for example, even if I, I am in the top 64 every time. I'm losing against a lot of players. And even in my zone. So many players are beating me. Look at that. 8 minutes, 258 turns to get that blessing. Good job. That's <laughs> that's really fun. Difficulty 36. But at least I get a bit more stuff here. So I'm going to be able to buy a bit more buffs. <laughs> but they, I feel like they are useless. I really feel like they are useless. So I'm gonna buy another one here. I'm gonna have a bit more shielded effect, so I'm gonna survive a bit more. But 6% is not gonna save my ass, though. Uh, you know what? I, I want to ch I want to show you something to you. Because there is a bus that is completely broken. I'm just gonna refresh it until we get the bus. That's not the one. Yeah, Mustafa, I really do love PAL World. Before I was playing Ark Survival Evolved, I spent thousands of hours on it with friends of mine, and I had so much fun. But after that, I spent a lot of time on Valheim also, and when PAL World has been released, it has everything I enjoyed in many different games. You have uh, the kind of exploration that you have in Ark, of course, the survival um, part of it. You have the capture and the many skills on, on your pals, and this is so great. And everything, I love everything about the game at the moment. I'm spending a lot of time on it and I'm loving it. Um, but this is not the goal of the video, so I'm not going to talk about Pal World. Yeah, I am our, I played so much time on the game. I was playing on the beta. And uh, it was almost two years ago. I started playing Infinite Magic Raid in April 2022. So almost two years. And I'm still not bored. I, I always did my dailies and enjoyed doing it. This is what I love about Infinite Magic Raid. There is always something to do on the game. Okay, that one, I can't use that team again against that one because he gets too much heals when I kill the minions. But in fact, you just have to refresh and then use your heroes. Oh, that one! That one apparently is broken at the moment because of the new bu buff you have. It procs when you are using a skill without attacking the boss, it procs the counter attack. But even without talking about the, the, the broken stuff of that boss, he is, his power is just too much. <laughs> and this is DH Games. Classic DH Games stuff. Look at that. I'm going to put all my most tanky units. And you are going to understand. He's just going to destroy my team. I I'm going to try to put that. Yeah. I have the apple with Nicholas. I have big shield. Thanks to my Nordak. And consolidation 2 permanently. And even if I start with the ultimate of Lydia. So I'm going to take less direct damage. He can still one-shot me. Of course, Zohar. I can pull your shots. Just send me a message on Discord so I can connect to your account and pull your shots. Of course I can. 
It would be a pleasure. <laughs> what the hell? You are a free to play player on server one? Of course, there are whales and krakens in server one. You started the game when it was first released? Is this why you were in server one? So let's have a look to that bus and have some fun. This is how we get some fun in Infinite Magic Raid. When they release new content and every time things are broken. So look at that. Just gonna use one skill and say bye bye to my heroes. Boom! <laughs> I am almost dead. So, and it kills you also if you have the damage immunity. I still have the apple on my Nordak. He's a survival. A survivor. I just used the skill. I didn't even attack. And I'm dead. Let's put the damage immunity and just have a look. Okay. I was immune that time. That's fun. Basic attack. So you have a strategy normally, you have to use only basic attacks. And so he has less chance to counter-attack you. 40% chance in fact if you are using the uh, basic attack, otherwise it's 100% chance. So if I'm using that, maybe he's not gonna counter-attack. Okay, I'm gonna apply a shield. And look at that, even with huge shield, I got one shot. I, I got one shot it. Nordak will survive. Until the end. And beyond. Yeah, this is completely broken. Let's go, Nordak. He's gonna solo the bus. Nordak's power. Best unit in the game. <laughs> Maybe if I use heroes with more shields and way, way more HP. But at the end, you need a hero to deal some damage, right? Look at that. How are we supposed to deal 8,800,000,000 damage with tanky units? And with direct damage only. Because he is immune to dots. And so you can't deal damage with Little Jack. Or with Indra. Or with Niza. In fact, all the heroes you built before, nobody is working here. And this is the, the difficulty 36. But even on 30, he is just impossible to kill. Here, I can't. I tried him on the stage 30, it was impossible to me. He one shot in me also. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for a nerf and I'm gonna try again. So I think that you sent me, okay, I'm gonna connect to your account and summon for you. So wait a second. Beautiful screen behind. The best hero in the game fighting. Marius. Yeah, that's a crazy boss. But this is also what I do love about Infinite Magic Raid. When they release broken things like that. We have a lot of fun. Some, a lot of players are complaining. Less today. Less players are complaining today. And that's great. Because in the past, every time they were, they were releasing this kind of content, it was really, really hard for the community. But people, I feel like, today I feel like people are taking things more easy than before. I don't know what you think about that. Um, level 90, okay. So... Let's have a look, 69 pools and 12 supreme. And do you have, I, I guess that you already have some copies of Pauline. Okay, so I really do hope that you are going to get two Paulines. Escudi 3, I love dreaming, so. So you started IMR three or four months ago. Okay, after you dropped it and so you came back and you are still on server 2 <laughs> with all the whales. So, of course, 
PvP should be one thing for you. So I guess that I'm gonna pull everything, that's it. I'm gonna start with the excellence, and I do hope that it's gonna cut. cut. That is gonna cut, otherwise you will get nothing. And 12, okay, you don't have a PD guaranteed. So finger crossed. Finger crossed. Let's go. So please, multiple polins, only polin. Sometimes when you have a few, you get the most. So <laughs> let's hope that this is gonna happen. We all know in the chat that it can be real. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I forgot. Okay, you can't see the screen. Of course, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, so I just pulled a few and we got nothing interesting so far. I am sorry. <laughs> what a dumb I am sometimes. It's like when I'm showing showing some gear on my account on video and then you have all the gear behind me or when I'm doing some tests in the hero trial <laughs> and I'm hiding the damage result. This is me, typically this is me. Yeah, that's better. Now you can see the pools. Of course that's better. So, should I do a 10 pool directly or do you want me to open one by one? Here, I don't think if I can get something more even if I buy one extra. 31. One more for the 10. Okay, I'm gonna buy one more for the 10. Guess it's not a lot excellent. It's not a lot of diamonds. 120, perfect. The last 10 pools. Up to me. Okay. So for the show, we are gonna do a 10 pool. It's gonna be fast, but who knows? Maybe you are gonna cut multiple times in the 10 pools and get two copies of Pauline to have the SQV3 directly. I know some players have that luck. So I'm pretty sure that you can have that luck now. And so it's also gonna be better than the previous one I summoned for. At least he got his copy, but that was a bit hard to get the first copy. So let's start and finger crossed for Pauline. Two times, come on. Cut the PD and get two Pauline inside of it oh come on come on this is the worst pool ever thank you Aiden thank you so much and I'm so sorry dude I'm so sorry I got absolutely nothing oh two remaining though but it's starting badly come on two more Finger crossed steel. Pauline! He's here! He is here! I got you one Pauline! Here is your luck! Here is your luck! Yeah, you never do 10 pulls, but having that right after. Who cares about the first 10 pulls when you have that? Congratulations, you have your second exclusive on Pauline. Now he's gonna have a lot of 10 meta and be able to cleanse your units. This is gonna be a nice help for PvP. Yeah, what a luck, that's nice. Freaking luck, huge luck, I love that. So I still have one Supreme. So maybe, who knows, we can have a back-to-back. -back. 
No, it's it's never happening. Not to me. <laughs> not, not to me. So, wish rebate. Three excellent. And one scroll. Congratulations. For your second third copy of Pauline. Turn meta increase. That's gonna be huge. 10% for every enemy faster than him. So great. The third one is interesting though, because the block debuff is really, really annoying in PvP, especially when you have some Nita teams in front of you or control teams. But still, Exclusive 2 is amazing. If you have an Azil, now he's gonna be able to counter an Azil. Yeah, the effect was broken and didn't work. As always, unlimited heroes, most of the time when you pull them, it's broken. The screen broke breaks. That's great. 2059 speed, how much resistance? Yeah, now you are gonna need to increase the resistance though. The more you have, the better. And you don't need that much speed. It depends where you are situated in PvP at the moment. But mine... In top rankings, mine has 2,400 speed because everybody in front of me has a huge amount of speed. You have Popper, you have Space, Esther, you have Jack and Roll. Everybody has a huge speed and so even if you build him with a huge amount of speed, he will always take the 10% per hero in front and take the turn before them. Or you can play him the same way I was playing him before, that means... Uh, 1,800 speed, I had that before on my Pauline, and it was still working on classic spaces teams. He could play B4 space and B4 Nita in front with a lot of resistance and it's gonna be perfect. You're welcome, dude. You can take back your account. I'm gonna disconnect and go back on my own. Good job again. Okay, so let's switch the account again. Damn, I'm so happy for you. Two summons for viewers and two polins. Great stats. And by the way, I didn't pull that much wishes in fact. 600 excellent to get one polin on the first account. And there... 11 Supreme. Oh, you got one Bull, one Zora, and one Aeosin. Yeah, sometimes shit happens when you summon, especially on limited banners. But Bull, Zora, and Aeosin, they are three great heroes. Okay, back to back to my account. Yeah, don't worry Zohar, uh, today I don't care anymore if I'm not lucky on my pools. Because as I said on the previous one, I wasn't able to get directly the exclusive 3 on, on Jingle Bell. She was exclusive 2, but then I'm a content creator and so uh, every month they, they are giving me some vouchers and so they are releasing boxes with heroes inside now. So I got the exclusive 3, uh, what, uh, maybe one month later? So at the end of the day, I just have to be patient and and I'm still getting the, the hero, so... Or sometimes I save some wishes, <laughs> but that time I decided to pull because I wanted the third copy of Elena without spending eyes on her. That would have helped me to farm for my Nordax aura in Faction Abyss. So... Do you want to have some fun watching me in Fair Arena? I had a bug. I, I thought it was a bug. I firstly thought it was a bug. I lost many battles and you are gonna understand why. I did a mistake. Look at that. All the defeats. I am so freaking dumb. Because at the beginning you don't have... Oh, sorry. At the beginning you don't have all your lineups, right? If you go here... Every day you unlock one more lineup, and if you forget to put at least one hero in the last lineup unlocked, then are you ready 
this is what is gonna happen. You click on save and you are thinking that it's okay. And then you quit and look at that. This is my lineup now. And this is what I did. This is what I did. I have top tier units. This is the best start I ever had on the fair arena. I was in top 100. And that shit happened to me. And so everybody destroyed my ass. And yesterday I ended up 14,000. <laughs> From 100 to 14,000. You can't change your email on your account. You love the fair arena, but you do everything in auto. And do you reach the rank 50 when you are doing that in auto? So you can get some chests and it's interesting. Yeah, be really careful when you do that in, in fair arena. Otherwise, you are going to be wiped as I was. As I have been. So now I have to put my teams again. And look at the, all the heroes I have. When I'm telling you that I had a great luck that time. I have all the best units. But I just did that bullshit. And I thought it was a bug. And so all day long I had no hero. Because I wasn't able to set up my defense. So I'm just going to set up it again. So generally, I love using both of them together with an AoE damage dealer. So this is my Nita. Then I put Lydia with Tifia. So she's going to deal more damage. I put Iguli inside. So she's going to also have the crit damage buff 60% at the beginning. I'm going to open with the first active skill. And if she plays first, my Tifia is going to rock. And she's going to have more damage thanks to uh, Nicolas also. And then my Quinlan is also going to deal more damage. So using that team, it rocks really hard. Then I love using this kind of units. Uh, Sinov with Tuck or Sinov with Catherine. Because if someone tries to freeze you, uh, she's, gonna get, she's immune to freeze and speed reduction. She's going to get some increase in turn meta. And she's going to increase your turn meta or lower the turn meta and the speed of your opponents. And then your Catherine will cleanse your team or your Turk will cleanse. So I do enjoy using this kind of stuff. So I have my Nazil here. And uh, a Daisy uh, with that guy. So she's going to get more turn meta at the beginning. I want to use that here. I think I was using something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy roster. On the first day, I got three limited heroes. I got Jack and Roll, Nicholas, and then Lydia, but I wasn't able to buy her. So I picked her on the second day. And then I got the others. This is a crazy start. But I fucked up, and so I won't probably be in the top 50, or I'm gonna have to be careful doing my fights. So I'm going to put a bad team here. There I should be able to increase my turn meta. And I think that I'm going to use that guy right here probably. I think I might want to do that. It should be okay. I'm going to try that. So they are going to get some turn meta increase. HP buff on my Agatha. So she's going to deal a bit more damage. Purple frame. That one, Sinov. The purple frame means that's an epic hero. And the yellow, that's a legendary hero. The, is this what you are asking for? You get a rank, about rank 500 and 1000 in auto. Yeah, the, the problem is that when you are doing your fights in auto, you never get what you want. I'm gonna just run a fight. Yeah, I'm a bit late today, so. <laughs> I'm probably gonna lose a lot. And sometimes I spend too much time thinking about my lineups and I'm still, I'm just wasting time and battle sometime. So, uh, do I have a speed team somewhere? Here we have Elsa, so she's gonna immune to death 
uh, uh, the team if I kill someone. Uh, so I need some controls to beat that. So I might want to use... Maybe if I use that, I'm going to play first and I'm still going to be able to kill them. Uh, can I beat that team though? Yeah, with my speed team, probably it's going to work. Uh, do we have another speed team? Here, Tifia with only Iguli. So if I use a tanky team, she won't be able to, to beat me. Or here, maybe Pauline is going to play before me. I'm going to use that, so just in case, she's going to immune to death one of my heroes. And who knows, maybe you are going to laugh, maybe I'm going to lose everything and it might be really, really funny. I don't like, I don't like spending too much time on that content though. Okay, I'm just going to increase the turn meter of Nita and it's going to be over. Yeah, that's so easy when you do it manually. Oh, and I have focus in the team. Generally, I was using him with my Lucifer. Okay, Pauline is playing first. It was intended. So I took the other attack and my entire team is alive. So I'm just going to do that for now. Because I can't kill Pauline and I can't focus others. Just increase my damage, deal some AoE damage. That's not a lot though, just protect. And uh, they have Gilliman. Gilliman is gonna play. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep the ultimate. She's gonna remove my stealth. <laughs> what the hell, Actor is such a bad guy. In the fair arena. No way. No way. So. Here. I want to open with that. And normally they are going to take a lot of damage. One is going to die. So I have to be careful. Because focus is going to take some turn meta. But I can control them. Control them again, and now I can put the fight in auto, it's gonna work. One of my favorite teams in a game. And then, you have Greta, and she is almost immune to controls, so she is always resisting. Lower the 10 meter, I'm gonna try again to freeze them. Only Greta isn't frozen. HP buff, and so then my Agatha is gonna rock. <laughs> not enough, not enough. Come on, extra shield, revive. Thank you, Agatha. And now I might try to kill her. You know what? I'm, let's kill the supports first. And now let's run, just run the fight in auto. It should work. Concentrate on her before she gets her ultimate back. Otherwise, my Agatha is going to have a hard time. Three fights on five. Of course that one I'm going to lose it. By the way, this is what I was saying on another video. Players who are doing their fights right after the reset can buy extra heroes and so they have directly their last lineup. But then you have to fight with this kind of team and of course you lose. That's steel plus 30 though. What do I have in the store? Look at that. I also have better heroes inside. I have Mother Lena. And of course I'm gonna buy her. Let me just change something first. I need that right here. And I'm gonna put her in the last team. And I think it should be okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's retry with that. Or maybe I should use him somewhere else. No, uh, it's it's okay to use him here. So we have an Azil, but I have nothing to cleanse my guys. Oh, okay, I can maybe use that. 
So maybe it's gonna work. But you have a Madalena and you have Jingle Bell, so it's it might be difficult though. But I, I can also freeze them. Here, this is gonna be hard to beat the first one because of that guy and her. Uh, but maybe she's not gonna get a lot of damage, so I can try using that. It might work. There is no speed team. Okay. So I can use my... That guy here. But then there is a Donald Rebelly. And so I'm going to waste that team instead. And I think by the way I'm going to use that. So I'm going to be sure to win normally. I think I can win that. Or... Maybe I can also win that one. Put that team here. And where is my sp my speed team? I'm gonna try that. Maybe I can beat all, all the teams. Okay, so let's... No, he's playing before my space. Of course he is. But I can still win though. <laughs> And no, it wasn't the case. <laughs> okay, she cleans, of course. I killed Nilua, she cleansed. This is why I'm super happy to summon her on my account before. Okay, let's freeze some. Increase my HP. Try to freeze. Apply an extra shield. And deal damage. Nazil is protecting Malena. But I want to kill her first. And I also have to kill Focus and Jingle Bell, otherwise... I might get in trouble. Okay, still alive for now. Come on, just to kill her. Freeze some. And now it should be okay. I can auto the fight. And when you are autoing the fights, you can't do this kind of stuff. And so, of course, you are losing some fights and ranks. But it's taking so much time each day to do your fights in Fair Arena. This is why I'm not doing that all the time. I'm skipping the fight normally. So... Let's kill some units, but first I have to kill that guy, otherwise I won't be able to remove the taunt. Perfect, extra turn. Little caster. Nice. <laughs> Lucifer, the only content in which he is great. So let's try to kill him. Normally I should be able to kill everyone, but that guy. Cool. Now he's he's frozen forever. And the last one, normally I have more stuff. Turn better increase on Daisy because of the buffs and some damage. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna run the fight in auto, otherwise it's gonna take so much time. Just kill the healers first. What's a gameplay? By the way, I I do love that. I don't know about you, but this is the best game, gameplay ever in Infinite Magic Raid. Arena using only epic heroes. This is what we were using when the game was first released. In September 2022. Everybody was using Holder in PvP and Melia. That was the strat. That was the meta. Try using them today. Four wins. Top 2278. So I'm gonna try to push a bit. But a bit later probably. Otherwise the content might be boring. Uh, should I pick Belton? 
He is a great unit, but maybe I, I'm gonna be greedy. But I do love trying to get better heroes. So this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Asindo. What a luck. What a luck. So Madalena, I'm gonna put my Madalena somewhere where I'm gonna have a lot of damage. Um, where should I put Madalena? I think if I put her somewhere right here in that team, if they try to kill me, it might be interesting to have that. Or with Guhana and Focus, yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna do that, it might be better. I'm not gonna put my Nazil here, because if there is a Paulin in front, he's gonna he, he's gonna protect. I think this is a good idea. But I'm lacking a bit of damage with my Agatha here. Hope in the future I can get a Nordak, so she's gonna have more HP and deal more damage thanks to him. Or Nirid. Daisy? Place 7? What do you mean by place 7? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. And what is happening if I try to skip the fights? We are gonna see that. So there is a Lydia, so if I use that team I'm probably dead. And there is Malena also, they are gonna be more tanky, so maybe, maybe... I can still try to use that though, so I can freeze them and it's gonna work. This is the only speed team they have, so it should work. It should work. Maybe I can use that here, to try to freeze the Queenlan. In Daisy place. Ah, you mean having Madale Malena here? Yeah, it's gonna reinforce a bit the team, but... I don't know, because they are gonna focus her if they do their fight in manual, and so it will never work. They are just gonna kill her. And I'm gonna lose her potential. But here I have two damage dealers. And so in fact, if one of them die, my Madalena, my Madalena is gonna uh, one-shot one unit in front and my, uh, my, my supports can give them an extra turn. And so I have more chance to win, I think. So here we have a Paulin. And that guy, so I'm gonna use that and hope I can win with that. I'm not sure to deal enough damage to... No, I wanted to, to, to use that team here. Um, if I use that, Polin is going to play before and I'm not going to be able to remove buffs. So I need to use my speed team here. But I'm going to get the shackle on her and it will never work. So in fact, I don't think I can beat that team. Or I have to use something else. Exchange the two teams here. And at the top, at the top I can use that. Here, Ben Austin has a lot of speed, so I might want to try to to freeze him. Uh, that's 100% sure I'm going to lose one team. I am going to lose one team, and I think this is what I'm going to try. Or if I use my jack and roll here, maybe he's gonna he has the same speed as Ben Austin, so maybe he's gonna play. I know he has 10 speed less. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. So turn to Lucifer. And let's kill Melchior first. Extra turn. Over. I hope I can kill Pauline with Tifia. Nope. Maybe with the HP burnings. Yes, it worked. So I can control him. Uh, no. 
Let's freeze him. Okay, 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 just kill him. It's better. So. Okay, that's perfect. I can... I I'm not gonna be able to do that. Um, if I lower the speed of space in front, I'm gonna increase also my speed, and then my Luna is gonna play, and she's gonna cleanse. And so my Guhana can increase my turn meta, and my Nita is gonna play, kill everybody. Only Nita is remaining. So I'm just gonna lower her, her turn meta. Increase mine. I lower her speed. Increase my turn. And on basic attack, she deals a bit more damage. Oh, she's stealing my buffs. Turn meta decrease. Okay, using only some basic attacks, I think I might be able to kill her. <laughs> or not. And now it's gonna be the fun part. Because she is stealing my buffs, but I can't. So, it will never work. Good job. Nita versus Nita. The most annoying thing in Infinite Magic Raid. Free freeze Quinlan, please. Perfect, this is the only one I froze. Now, let's freeze them again. Infinite fight, yeah, of course. With Nita, that's an infinite fight. Um, I'm gonna use that for now. Okay, perfect. Three victories. Plus 25. Ah, that's not that great. I'm still top 1,500 because of my mistake. Let's pick a Sindo. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna finish my fights and then I'm gonna stop the stream. Already 1 hour 37 minutes. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. So I really do hope that you are enjoying it, that you enjoyed some summons. The infinite turn that I showed in the Endless Cloister, because this is pretty fun. And yeah, let's do put someone in here so I can control some heroes. This is gonna be important. But I'm gonna need another damage dealer for the last team. At least one could help me. Or maybe I'm focusing too much the others. Um, I don't want some controls on the first team though. I want her with Nazil. This is gonna be important, this is gonna be interesting. So Nazil is gonna freeze, and she's gonna get more turn meta. And so I'm gonna get, get a huge advantage over others. Um, I love the fact that now we just need to beat bosses. Uh, it's saving a lot of times and multi-battles. But the content is way harder than before. It is so freaking hard at the moment. Uh, before... I was able to... I, I'm just gonna show that to you. Before, I was able to reach the difficulty 37. When we had Nijia, and before all the updates they made. After that, they decided to change buffs. And now, they are weaker than the previous ones we had. And because of that, I'm not even able now to beat the stage 31 or 32. Where before, I was able to beat the stage 36. And that's absurd in my opinion. Buses are just broken at the moment. And especially the one we have in this rotation. Ifrit. <laughs> people just can't beat Ifrit. I tried to beat him on stage 30 only. I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to. And the buffs we have sucks in comparison with the previous one we had. Before the patch note. Before the update. Yeah, that's crazy. And if you have a look to the rankings, you have at the top only the players that tried hard the content when it was first released. And even the top Krakens can't beat the content anymore. And so they are stuck behind us, such as Bailey, because the content is way too hard now. 
But that guy, Bailey, I'm pretty sure that if he tr did try, if he would have tried that before, probably he would have beaten the 39. But today, of course, he is stuck. And same for every player's. Lydia, of course you can play her without any exclusive. She is one of the best units in the game even without any exclusive. You can use her in the faction abyss. She's still gonna provide the co permanent consolidation to your heroes and lower the 10 meter of enemies and increase your attack by 40%. And that's huge, especially in PvP. Players with a low defense, with low power on their accounts, can't beat this kind of team and I'm just gonna show you how. Just have to put your Lydia inside. And you are going to see he has more speed than me. But I'm still going to beat him. And you can try at your level to replicate that. You don't need exclusive on her. She will always take the first turn. Use the basic attack in manual. And you take the advantage. You take the turn. Zero exclusives. Many players are beating my defense using that strategy. Yeah, yeah, I did. I already did my summons. I didn't have a lot. And I summoned for two other players also. Got lucky. Maybe you can watch the replay after the end of the live. It was really, really interesting. Great time on the summons. And this is why I call Lydia the cheat code. You don't need exclusive, you lower manually the turn meta of the opponent and even if you don't have big heroes in your team, you take the advantage and you just beat the opponent like this. And that's it, he is dead. Cool, hope you will enjoy it. Uh, probably let's have a look to my defense and maybe I can show you no he they are they are great great players okay of course you can some controls can beat my team let's check Phobos yeah but he is exclusive three but he has less speed than I or did he buy some extra speed with the blessings yeah d did you see that I'm gonna lower the speed and show that to you again. He did to me the same thing as I did to only bands. Look at that. Open with the basic attack and so my papa won't be able to play and then... Of course, he has way less speed than I. Look at that. 3187 and I have a bit more. And because of that, he takes the advantage and of course I die. And you don't need exclusives on that. On your team to do that. Oh, you need only one more Pauline? Yeah, that's sad. I think that many players lack one Pauline today. Three they go, no Pauline. Really feel bad for you. It happened to me the first time Pauline was released. I got him, I summoned a ton of wishes and I wasn't able to get any more copy of him. The first one was given for free and so my Pauline was still exclusive zero and I had to wait three or four more months in order to have another banner with Pauline inside and then uh, if I remember correctly I was able to get only one copy so yeah I had to be really really patient to get my exclusive three on my Pauline. Everything in this game is about Waiting. Saving resources. So what do happen if I skip the fights? <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna win maybe two rounds, maybe three, depending on my team. So normally, yeah, that one, of course, that was beating this kind of team before. But I'm not sure if she's gonna cleanse the, the control of Lydia. There, I can't lower the 10 meter of, of that unit, so 
Normally in manual with that team I can beat that one, but I'm not sure here, I probably it's not gonna work. Then you have that team over there. I'm gonna be able to control them and normally I should win. And then I'm not gonna be able to remove the buffs on Mamu here. So this is what happens when you <laughs> do your fights in auto. Probably I'm gonna have between two or three victories. Three victories. But I have more chance to have four doing it in manual. And having four, four victories changes everything. You can get a bit more token. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I hate that about the fair arena. Session, season after season, you have bad luck. You are never getting the best heroes. And then, all of a sudden, on a new season, you have all the broken, all the broken units together. Okay, of course it's great for me, but I, I don't like that. This is not fair at all for me. Because some players have a huge advantage because of that. Getting all the broken units directly. And then other players have only trash units. Okay, so you bout the second exclusive on uh, the... Uh, it was the trio match, right? Yeah, that's way less expensive to buy the copy directly in the, the minigame event than buying some shards. I did that one time on Popper's banner. I, I needed Popper. I, I didn't spend when he was first released on Miracle Wishes. And so I saved a huge amount of excellent and supreme wishes to get Popper. And this is not even a limited hero. And so on normal banners... When you don't have limited heroes, you don't have a guarantee to obtain the hero you want after 10 pulls. So I tried to obtain him and I bought so many packs. In total, it cost me more than $1,000 if I count the vouchers I spent and the real money, $1,000. And after the event, I got no single popper. Spending $1,000 and getting no copy of the hero you wanted? That is the real bad thing in Infinite Magic Raid. So at least limited heroes are a bit easier to get. Because they are on minigame events. And, and you have the guarantee on banners. But you still need a huge amount of pools also. On Guhana, you want to focus on your speed. Speed only. She doesn't provide any shield, so you don't care about her own HP. It's still great to have some HP, but... Speed only. And healing effect if you can have some. So, we have an Azil. We have an Azil, and I have an Asindo. Maybe he's not gonna... Freeze my Asindo. If he freezes my Asindo, then it's not gonna work. If he, if it, if it's not the case, I'm gonna try to freeze. I'm gonna apply multiple controls on Nita, and so even if there is a leak in front, I should be able to control. Uh, then my Nicholas. Uh, here we have another Tifia with Quinlan. I might want to use my speed team over there. And then we have a Sindo, and there I want to play first and kill them. But there is Ng3 also and Lydia, so maybe I'm gonna lack some damage. I can't use my Jack and Roll because he can be silenced. And so I, I think I'm gonna try that in manual. Hope I can freeze a lot of them. And hope that she's gonna resist the freeze. She resisted the freeze, that's perfect. So now I can concentrate on Nita. She's not gonna play, lower the speed. Cool, and freeze again. Now she's frozen. 
I love this kind of team and in 3v3 in Advanced Arena or Guild Arena, I do love having a team with a ton of controls. Using that, you can beat this kind of team using Elik and you have a ton of, this, of similar team in Advanced Arena today. Many top players are using Elik with Nita and also you have Popper and uh, Ronai and the new limited hero Jack and Roll. Okay, so let's just silence, deal some damage, shield and increase the turn, and focus on her. I need to kill her and then I'm gonna be safe. Perfect, perfect. Now let's just kill Focus or Nicholas. I'm gonna use the basic attack, so I'm gonna have two stages of damage. If I don't kill him, he's gonna start freezing all my heroes again and again, and I'm gonna lose. I wasn't able to kill him, so... Okay, I resisted. Okay, he can't control my Agatha. That, that's right, when I have a shield. He's protected by Illig. This is gonna be hard to kill him now. My Ascendo is frozen. Increase my HP. He has Immortal. So I can't kill him. I, I think I'm gonna concentrate on Nazil for now. Lower the speed. Didn't work. Okay. Let's freeze him. Cool. Lower the speed. Concentrate on him so I can kill him and take the advantage. Lower the speed. Freeze. Okay, turn meter increase and now he's dead. Oh, he has the ally protection. Come on. <laughs> the fight is going to take forever. I think I'm going to run that in auto and put the focus on him. Come on, please just kill him. Okay, perfect. Now just have to concentrate on focus. The fight is taking forever. You have guaranteed on summon to get the exclusive one on the new limited hero, that's right. I think he's gonna be a great hero because they recently released Indra and Yanmu and it seems like they are trying to increase the power of heroes now. So probably he's gonna be better than other limited heroes. But I, I might be wrong, I know nothing about the hero yet. Okay, second wave. Turn meta reduction. Turn meta increase and heals. Remove some buffs. I'm gonna apply. Increase again my turn meta or increase my attack. No, I'm gonna increase my attack and increase my turn meta and so my Nita is gonna deal more damage. And normally the fight is over. No other Nita in front that time. Here, really do hope that my Tifia is gonna deal enough damage to kill some of them. Asindo, otherwise, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really hard. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Cool. Another support hero, yeah, and I really do hope that he's gonna be really strong. I mean, strong without any exclusive or exclusive one at least, so it's achievable for some players. Let's kill him first. As always. Because if I don't, then I have nothing to remove buffs. And then I just have to buff my heroes and the fight is over. Okay, four victories. And that one, normally, it's gonna take some time. Epic Heroes versus Epic Heroes, but I have an advantage I have set. Not a great hero to deal damage though, but... Wow. That damage. This is so strong. Okay. Five wins. This is great. It's gonna help me to go closer to the top 50. 
Uh, NG3, I think you more... You need more HP. The more you have, the more she's gonna stock in the bunny and the higher the damage she's gonna release. And she's gonna survive more. Top 300. Cool. Five battles left. I'm gonna do my five battles and then I'm gonna stop the stream. It has been almost two hours and then I'm gonna have to go to eat. Otherwise, my girlfriend is gonna wait a lot. Cortel. Uh, what do we have? A Nilua, a Pauline. We have a Pauline, so I'll, I have to play first. Uh, I don't think I can beat everybody, so I, basically I'm just gonna put that here. I don't have Pauline yet. And that team is gonna be annoying. That team is gonna be annoying. I'm not sure if I can do something here. I can't use my speed team because there is Jack and Roll. He's gonna play f before me, of course. So I, I might want to use that. So I'm gonna be able to kill some of them. And if I can kill that guy, male kill first, it's gonna be interesting. But here, of course, I'm gonna get controlled. But if he misses the control, maybe I can take the advantage. But there is also Nicolas, so they're gonna have the apple and the ally protection from Nazil and a lot of heals. So of course not. I, I, I'm gonna lack some damage with that team. So I'm gonna use that instead. So yes, my Asindo is gonna play before the other Asindo because I have my Nazil. And every time I inflict a control, my Asindo is taking more turn meta. On Nork, uh, I think I would go mastery on Nork. No exclusive on Engie, and I took on mastery, not cool, cooldown reduction. Is this what you mean? Or crit damage? HP on mastery. I, I think it's okay with NG3. You can you can keep the, the HP. Okay, so... My speed team, my speed team, my speed team. If I use my speed team here, I'm gonna get a hit from Nilua, and she has some crit damage bonus, so I might lose one hero. So probably not a good idea. Uh, I might want to use another team instead. If I use that, it can be interesting, but I'm not sure if I can win using that, though. Uh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. I'm gonna have the damage immunity. So yes, of course, I think I can do something. I'm gonna sacrifice that team because of course there is one team that I can't beat. So I'm gonna try that. A tutorial on auras. Um, you don't have many things to know about the auras. Generally, I, I love talking a bit about that on some hero guys. And generally, I'm using the blue mastery one on all my daughters. It doesn't matter the dot. If you are using an HP burning hero, a, a bleeder, a poisoner, burner, etc. Every dot, in fact, most units need mastery. So use the blue mastery aura. If your dot damage are based on attack, then uh, if you want to use a, a legendary aura, focus on... Uh, the one that increases both attack and effect hit. If you want, if you have a hero that is scaling his damage over HP, such as HP burning heroes, uh, use an aura that is increasing the HP and effect hit to apply also the debuffs. And I think that's pretty all. Then you have some direct damage heroes, such as Melkyo. If you are using a shield in your team, that's great to put on them the shield smash aura. That's a legendary one. Otherwise, I think it's called the victory rush aura. It's increasing your... It's a blue one, increasing your... Or a purple one, I don't remember. I think it's a purple one. Increasing both your crit damage and crit rate. That's a great one to use. Or use the blue one that is increasing the direct damage. And then some speed... Speed ones, the purple ones, on your supports for PvP. And that's pretty all, in fact. That's pretty all. First legendary auras to obtain. Combat Vanguard first. 
the easiest legendary aura to craft. Uh, only runes number one, two, three, and it's gonna it's gonna help you a lot. This is the way to increase your damage really easy at the beginning. And then when you can, a skill master aura in your team also. And that's pretty much it, in fact, about auras. So, just concentrate on doing that skill and hope I can kill Melchior. He's not dead, but it's okay, I have that skill and now normally he should die. That's perfect. Perfect. Gonna get frozen and gonna die. Of course I will. Yeah, I will never have enough damage with that skill. With that team, I just have to skip. Not gonna waste some time here. Hope I can freeze the Asindo or just don't care. Just freeze one unit so my Asindo is gonna play before the opponent's one. Cool. Now I can use that. Yeah, she's reflecting the silence to me, but it's okay. Lower the turn meter and the speed. It didn't work on Gilliman. Now she's controlled. Because I'm using a lot of controls in my team. And I'm just gonna reduce the turn meter of that guy. Perfect. Only three remaining. Just increase my turn meter. And continue the fight in auto. And it's gonna do the job. The green one on Narc, I think. Go for the blue one next. Yes, it's gonna help you increase a lot your damage on Narc if you are using the blue mastery one. So, Lucifer, kill. Okay, I'm still alive. Kill Madlena first. So, she's not one shooting my heroes. Now, kill that one. And thanks for killing Nilua in last position. Okay, hope I can win the last one also. I don't remember the team I'm gonna have. Oh, speed team. Of course I'm gonna win that one. No way I can lose. Perfect. 4 on 5. Another plus 47. Top 137. And now I can hire the great... The Pauline. And it's gonna change everything to my lineups normally if I find a place for him. Um, let me guess. Here, they are gonna try to control me. Here, I don't care about that team. It will never be efficient. I need another damage dealer at least. And uh, I have Tuck in here to cleanse. I'm going to put Pauline instead. My Agatha is going to have more HP and deal more damage. So that team is going to be more aggressive. And instead of him, I'm going to put Tuck in here. It should be a bit better. Just a bit, at least. Okay, so let's continue with that. Only four fights remaining. Can I get in the top 50 now? Would be great. Would be great. So I have my Pauline over there. So I'm gonna try to put my Pauline in here. And I have many controls, so that guy won't deal anything to me. Won't do anything to me. Here I'm gonna have a speed team, so I'm gonna use my speed team counter. Then we have that team above. I'm not sure I can if I can beat that. We have a Quinlan and an Asindo here, so I'm gonna let that team die here and concentrate on the two teams at, at the top. I'm gonna need to have some controls, something to remove the damage immunity. So I'm gonna pick, use that here, so I'm gonna be able to one-shot that guy and then I should have enough to survive. Okay, just do that, and normally it should be okay. You're welcome, dude. So, I said, one shot, Belton. See you later.
Then, uh, I think I'm just gonna use that again. Yeah, you know what? Let's just use that. They have the Immortal, but I'm gon just gonna use the basic attack to begin to start dealing some extra damage to them. And Stealth again. Now I'm just gonna buff and cleanse and just... I can run that in auto and then of course it's gonna work. Turn metal lowered, increased. I'm gonna use the ultimate to have no I, I I don't even need to have more attack. I'm just gonna run that in auto, so she's gonna increase a bit more my turn meta, and now that you're dead. Two on five for now. No, normally I'm expecting to have four victories. So let's begin to freeze. Okay, he resisted the freeze and my Asindo was frozen. Simple tips, when you have a Pauline and an Azil in front of you, you want to use the basic attack and so you are going to increase the turn meta of your team. Like that. Really, really strong. So now let's lower that turn meta and speed. Try to freeze again. Nicholas, I don't want to get frozen. And use the ultimate with her, start doing some damage to everyone. Silence and freeze Donald Rebelli, really important. Turn meta increase. Basic attack again, so I increase my turn meta a bit more. Freeze Guhana. Silence that guy. I, I, yeah, I have the jewel, so I'm forced to target Donald with her. That's bad. He resisted the freeze. I might get in trouble. Oh, he counter-attacked, and he's killing my guys. Yeah, I'm gonna die. It didn't work. It didn't work. I get that. Damage. We're not enough. Okay, so open with that, and let's hope I can kill them. They are dead. Perfect. Only Pauline remaining. So I'm gonna have three victories on five. Because my last team is the worst one. <laughs> he has the damage immunity. It will never end. Okay, only one remaining. And here I was forced to lose. I knew that, so I'm just gonna skip. Three victories on five. This is not that great. But still, it's a victory. And now I'm top 92 before tomorrow. Tomorrow, probably, I'm going to reach something like t top 1000 at the beginning. And what do we have here? I think I'm going to refresh again. And look at that. Another two other broken units. Maybe three. Marvel is great in that content and Belton too. <laughs> this is what I was saying. I get... The, this season, my account is blessed. I get only the top tier heroes. I struggled so much in the past. And now I have that. So what do we have? We have an Asindo, so I might want to use that team over there. So my Asindo is going to get more speed than her. Then we have a Popper. So we want to use Lydia, of course. Uh, we have a Nazil here with Donald Rebelly, same comment as before, I want to sacrifice my team there. And then I'm gonna have... Uh, I I'm not gonna use that here. Queen Lan is gonna play before my heroes and he's gonna freeze all my units. I have to be careful though, I'm gonna use that. And you have a space over there. This is gonna be a bit hard to beat. So I'm not sure what should I do. I think I'm gonna try that and just keep the fight. I'm gonna end my fights, wait until tomorrow, and after my fights, I'm gonna end the stream. So I really do hope that you enjoyed it a lot. And thanks to everyone for watching.
and being here today and talking with me, that's always, always really, really great. So let's just do that. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what? The Queen line is probably... No, no, he can't kill me. Uh, here I'm sure to win. Here, I'm, of course, I'm sure to lose. And there is Nicolas, so I can't use that skill neither. There. Uh, I'm not sure to win because space is going to increase the turn meta and then... Or Hugh, Popper, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna do that. Maybe I can take the advantage here and play before. So let's just try that in and skip that. Four victories! Huge! That's huge! Maya E3 or Guhana, no exclusive. It's a bit different. If you are targeting the campaign, uh, until Hell 1210, then Maya is better because she's also gonna provide um, some shield and the block debuff. Block debuff is amazing for for the campaign. You are not gonna get the burns, the poisons, etc., the stuns. So really important to use Maya instead of Guana early game in the campaign. And in the tower, you can just use both. It's gonna be great. You're welcome, Misha. And thank you, Achilles. Achilles. Well, yeah, better pronunciation. Higher store. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for my Nordag, though. Top 49. So now I reached the top 50 again. And I was top 14,000 yesterday. Because of my mistake. But I have all the top tier heroes, so... I hope that nobody is gonna ever comment my videos saying that... The fair arena is fair, because this is not true. I'm just at the top because I got all the key units. I have all the better units, the broken units, everything you want. And I'm gonna get even more broken units. I'm gonna have Nordak and and I don't remember the, the other units that were in the, that was in the shop. Yeah, Nilua, so I'm gonna get another cleanser. So of course, it's broken to have that. So I have Pauline. I have Pauline and there I'm gonna be able to cleanse and to deal some damage. So of course I think I'm gonna use that. On the first team we have... Yeah, I, I have... No, maybe that's a bad idea because I have her with Pauline. No, I think this... I'm gonna change that in the future. I don't want to use my Sinov with Pauline. I'm gonna put Sinov with Catherine just in case I get frozen. So I'm gonna have two protection from the freeze. We have a Tifia here. I might win that one using only my bad team. I'm gonna have some freeze, some damage. So yeah, of course, I think I can win the last one. Uh, Donald Rebelly um, and NG3 and Bryn Healed. There is no control at all. Is there a speed team somewhere? Yeah, this is on the only speed team, so I'm gonna use that. Then I'm gonna use that team so I can one-shot her and take the advantage. And on the first team, we have a Nita. And I want to avoid having a Nita also. So yeah, I'm going to use that, in fact. And it should do the job. Or not. He can freeze my guys. And if it happens, I am dead. I am dead. So what should I do? What should I do? Can I win all the fights? Um, let me just... Think of a solution. We have. I have space in here. I have popper. But if I use that, I won't be able to win. I need to be sure to win two teams. So j just in case, I'm gonna put my bad team. I'm. 100% sure to lose the first one, so I'm gonna do that. Here, normally, I, I should win that one. Same comment, same comment, and same. Finger crossed. Okay, three victories. I was expecting four, but that's still interesting. Higher store, Nordak is mine, and now this is gonna be another game. Only... One battle remaining, top 36 for now. Lineup. 
let's add Nordak inside here with Agatha, so she's gonna have even more HP and start dealing high damage. That's great. And my Sinov, I'm gonna put Sinov in another team. Yeah, probably here instead. No, I I'm gonna still lack some damage here. That team just sucks. I think I'm gonna put Belton inside. I'm gonna pick him later and I'm gonna put Belton inside. So, uh, 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 what can I do? What can I do? Uh, should I let Sinov in here? Or did I want to use her somewhere else? No, I think this, this is okay. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. Or that time maybe I, I'm gonna listen and I'm gonna put that inside. So I'm gonna have a bit more attack with that team. And I might be able to, to do something. And here, just in case, I, I can still kill them using only my Lucifer. So, yes, I, I want to try that. I want to try that. I think this is going to be a bit better. For the last fight. So, what do we have? We have Nilua who can cleanse. Uh, that, that one might be tough. But I can cleanse. And you know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cleanse. Hope he's not gonna freeze my Asindo. And then I just can say bye bye to that team because Jack and Roll is gonna be countered. Then, is there a speed team somewhere with popper space? No, but we have a Nilua in here, so I might wanna use that. So, of course, I'm gonna kill them. Then I have popper space. Popper space, I'm gonna play before and I'm gonna nuke them hard with Nita so that team is should be safe and then it should be okay on the bottom one. I'm just not sure about that team though. I, I don't rem yeah, we are gonna have the same speed, so it's gonna depend. We are gonna try that. And for the last one, I'm gonna manual things. And then after the fights, I'm gonna end my stream. So thanks again for being here. I want to do that and one shot everyone. Cool. Now just kill her and the fight is over. Super strong team. Second fight. I'm gonna play first. I'm gonna increase my turn meta. Two times. I'm gonna increase my attack because I have another turn meta increase after. And now... They are dead. Cool. She's not dead yet. Oh man! What just happened? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. She was... She got... She got frozen. So I might lose that one if I can't control that. Increase my turn meta. Maybe my Nordak is going to play before Jack and Roll. He removed my buffs. I lost my damage dealer. I am dead. What the hell is just happening? <laughs> I just died like that? At the end of the stream? I should have squeaked. I should have squeaked. Quit before! <laughs> oh man! I'm just getting destroyed! I had some bad luck! Okay, I have my skill. I'm gonna focus on... Focus? Otherwise I'm dead. I have to kill him. I'm gonna kill him. My focus is gonna get an extra, uh, some extra turn meta. And I'm gonna give the turn again. To my Lucifer and kill her and then the fight is over. I was expecting to get five wins though. I'm gonna get three. I'm gonna get three. Hope I can win that one also. Hope I can freeze Jilly Man otherwise I can say bye bye. Okay. She's frozen. But now they have a lot of buffs though. I'm gonna increase my damage. Get better buffs. 
start dealing damage. Ripple too, so I'm gonna deal more damage on the basic attacks later. Concentrate on Jilliman. This is the only threat in front. And the fight is over. Three victories on five. Okay, I had some bad luck. I was expecting five. But then, yesterday I was top 14,000. And now I am top 22 because of broken heroes. And I have 20 tokens. So I'm gonna go here. Take Nilua, of course I'm taking her. I'm gonna pick them both, I think, in the future and try to build stronger teams. So, I got Nilua now. Just gonna put her in one team, so she's gonna cleanse in case they are trying to control me. And if there is an Asindo in front, she's gonna try to control me. And so if I have Nilua in here, he will never get controlled. And so this is now a perfect kind of team. Uh, and I think I'm gonna keep that. Instead of Daisy, I might want to use that. And now I have great teams. So, guys, that's the end of the stream. Thank you so much for being here uh, during that long. Because, yeah, a 2 hours, 20 minutes of stream, this is so freaking long. Thank you so much for being here. And see you the next time. Have a nice day.